it's time to get back on our R32. We've already installed the dash and the door cards, but now we have a few more interior bits and some other surprise pieces for you. Let's do this! We have all the panels that we got back from SOS Customs. They ended up putting our leather, but with our suede, and our, of course our double stitching in gray. Yeah, if you can see back here, you see the Ricardo C. They are Speed V, and they also have the same gray uh, double stitching with our yellow V, which is, I'm pretty sure that's where they got the Speed V from. That matches our car. We have our steering wheel, we got our hub, shift boot, and e-brake boot as well and everything is matching, all full leather. Now here we have our brand new throttle design shift knobs. We have three different colors, two different sizes, and two different materials. We have an aluminum weighted shifter, and we have dial rings in black and white. If you already have one of our older throttle shift knob, you already have the color. You don't need to purchase another one. All you gotta do is just purchase the shift knob itself. They're available at throttle.com right now, so go check them out. This is sick. These, these are Imperial mats, and as you can see, the style is a 90s JDM style. And if you can see the logo here, this is exactly where they put the Nissan GTR logo, stuff like that. So they ended up putting their logo in there. So you guys can go to imperialmats.com, and then you will see the mats there. Logo. Now this is not interior, but this is logo, and this is an exterior uh, RGB LED underglow kit. Super nice, the same candy with it. So anyways, enough talking, we got a lot of stuff to do. Let's just get to work. As you guys noticed, me and Will just finished taking out the headliner and a bunch of bits that we have here, like the uh, dome lights. Uh, Mickey's gonna go ahead and he's gonna be working on the headliner. And he's gonna wrap that thing in sway while I'm gonna be working on getting all these gray parts back to black. Back yep. to black? They were black before? I'm gonna be switching these panels from gray to black. That way the headliner doesn't look kind of weird with gray and black or whatever color we're yeah. throwing on that thing. Steamer, trying to get some of these wrinkles out of this suede before I put it down. It was all tan and nasty and gray. Yeah. And now it's like midnight in here. These are the B pillars that just came back from SOS Customs. They did an excellent job. Just look at this stitching. They did an excellent job getting these things done. And then from here, we just keep going to the bottom piece and in front and behind and blah, blah, blah. But let's get moving. For our next step, all this line needs to be removed so they can go through the panel, which means this car is gonna drop all the way down to the ground. Slam it, baby. We're gonna slam it right now. It's probably gonna dump it fast. Maybe we should do it slowly. Nah. So, no, 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 don't do that. That's what I'm saying. I told him, let's do it slowly. And then he's like, nah, so I was gonna pull the line. And he's like, no, don't do that. Front's going down. What is that? This is wire pulling lube. I use this in my 
or oh. low voltage days. So you can pull wires through conduits or, or underground raceways, and this stuff evaporates. It's, it's not alcohol, a little bit of alcohol. This will just allow us to put these hoses through these rubber grommets uh, easily without popping them through, and then it'll dry away and it won't be, it doesn't leave like a residue or anything. Ricky's already getting started without me, of course. Oh, just our AccuAir VT tank. So we've had this actually sitting on the shelf for like a couple months now. <laughs> Sent it off and had it painted to match. Something gonna look sick against this leather. One eternity later. All right, 20 hours later, the scuba tank is finally ready to go in. Hey, 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 hey. All right. Yeah. Let's see if we can twist it. Oh, we got more grip now. Yeah, ratchet that in one ratchet at a time there, Ricky. Bro, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, he's going to otherwise he's gonna scratch the paint. He's going to take him. forever. All right, well. All right, we have our tank installed, our airlines and sensors plugged in. Now, with all the bolts loose, we were able to kind of shift panels as needed in order to get everything in. Now we just need to tighten up all the bolts. And now it's time to get over to the other side of this and get the seats in, steering wheel, all that other stuff that you're actually gonna to touch as the driver. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the bottom piece to the dash, which is under the steering wheel. And I am gonna put it in, it requires a lot of bolts, like six or seven bolts to put in. So uh, bear with me here. are going in finally we got the majority of the stuff in that we can do right now the remaining stuff that is missing is because we don't have it yet so since we have the seats and they're ready to go we're gonna put both seats in and then we'll see what it looks like Yo, check this out. Ooh, it slides so smooth. Do I look kind of weird doing it? Because my head doesn't move? <laughs> Driver's seat down. Let's move on to the passenger seat. Get in yours, Ricky. You ready for this? Oh, you can't handle this, bro. Whoa! Hold on, I got nothing to grab on. You got the wheel. <laughs> oh, that is so weird. Dude. Why? Seriously? <laughs> like, you guys gotta treat yourself to sitting in one of these hey, boys. How are those? What's up, bro? Holy crap. Hey, Quinn. Things are sick. That's actually got an interior. Freaking wicked. Yeah. Get in there, bro. This steering wheel is pretty balls for the rest of it. Oh, really well, cool. so that's next. All right, we got done with the, some of the interior parts. So the next step is going to be our steering wheel. It's ready. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> our great steering wheel. This is super unique. I cannot believe I almost dropped this thing. So before we can get to this thing installed, we need to remove the old one. And the old one is looking kind of raggedy. Oh yeah, I've seen better days, right, I think. I'm gonna take one of these ones apart, but it can't be that hard. I already see that there's some screws back here. So I'm gonna remove all those screws and I'll see what to do next. Bro. Oh, I think just pop that out. That horn off, hold on. I'm breaking it, well, I'm doing it the right way. Yeah. 
Break it? I don't think so. Let's see if I got this right. Ah. Oh. Yeah. It's usually 19 or 21. Oh. Before you take this off, make sure that this thing is straight. Is, is the uh, battery disconnected? It oh, is. Oh no, there's no airbag. There's no engine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's pretty much straight. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Top time. That says top. So you want to put this vertically. Damn. Hey, no mallet necessary. Come on, dog. I know what I'm doing. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Torque to spec. Ricky style torque wrench over here or what? Bro, when I see people talking the steering wheel, I'm like, seriously? But some people are hardcore. Oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. I went back in time. Well, let me hold up. <laughs> yeah. Bam. Mm. Mm. Wait, I gotta feel this. Like sway on your steering wheel is sick. It feels so good. It's really, really nice. I always prefer leather for my dailies, like my personal cars, just because it's like easy to maintain. You know what I mean? It's like easier to maintain and it looks good and it feels so good. The suede after the sun's been beating on it, like it starts like, you know, fading and the, the fur starts getting like, I mean, you can maintain it, you can brush it off and stuff, but this is, this is where it's at, dude. It matches everything. Well, this is done, guys. Let's move on to the floor mats next. Shut up. These are really cool. They have that 80 style. They are, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. What's that? So you know it's a driver's side with this. Oh. Yeah, this is your heel uh, support. Every single one of your carpets got a little hole right here in the center. That's what this is for. It'll keep it in shape a lot longer. The hook. driver always has a little hook. God, what a perfect fit. It is time to get underneath our R32 and install this low glow kit. Uh, I have seen these all over social media and it looks awesome. And they were nice enough to send us one of their first production kits. Let's see what it takes to install it and let's see how it looks on our R32. Look at this, send things to you, nice and fastened up, labeled. It's really well made, holy cow. It's got some good water, weather sealed uh, connections. Cool, this is about one wheel wingspan. Somebody's Whoa. That looks freaking right. Yeah, what the? <laughs> it's a it's cool, weird, right? man. Dude, it's, it's got green. It's got freaking all the colors. It's got is this like a default? Yeah. Yeah, you set it when you get in there. You get your Can you change the brightness too? You do everything. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. Dang, dude. It's cool, huh? So, first things first. We are, well, it's kind of like the third thing at this point. Well, we are going to begin the installation. So, this is designed to be on the lip of the front bumper, once we take the 3M backing off that red label there, we'll be able to stick it here. But you got that? I, I, I got think it. so. We got, we got well, it. hold on, Ricky. You got that, Will? I think our, our... So one thing we did while we were applying these side skirts is uh, we have our quarter panels and our, our uh, front, front fenders. fenders, our flares. Um, they are separate from this side skirt right here. So we're attaching to all three of them, but we didn't want to have to untape this, I guess you could say. So we did a couple of the 3M pads that are provided with this and we use the zip ties. So now right here where this ends, we are using the 3M this way, but we broke free and we just have them low hovering right here. And that way whenever we need to remove this, or the flare up front, we can snip these zip ties, pull this off, and just this will be kind of 
holding right here, dangling. Right, it'll, it'll just dangle. Uh, so this is the brain controller. It's gonna constant 12 volts from the battery right here. This is a three wire data and power that goes to your actual lights and controls the multiple colors, the strobe rate. And so this is not weather tight. It's got some openings. There's a circuit board in there. We wanna keep this out of the elements. So that's gonna go inside of the footwell, under the dash, somewhere that's hidden inside of the car. And then this is a weather tight run that we're gonna run through the firewall and kind of follow the wheel well and come down and to our starting points of the strips right here. And then from that, they go and they have a continuation of that weather tight run and that'll jump from one LED bar to the next. We're gonna be taking this bumper on and off as we continue work on this vehicle. This is getting installed kind of early in the phase, so we gotta take an extra measure right now. And I have some six pin Deutsch harnesses that I need to cut these. I'm gonna put a quick disconnect right here. So just above this, this bumper, right where it's meeting the fender, we can disconnect right here. We'll be able to remove this bumper. Holy zip tie clippings. Hey. Do you guys use enough? I tell you this, it looks really good under this. You see all the sides one, and then if you see here, we got the wire running behind the panel. So from this side, when you look through it, you literally cannot see any of it. I did the exact same thing on this side. Everything is running behind the panel. So when you take the wheel off and you look through it, you cannot see anything. All the wires are completely hidden. Pretty much it, I think from here, the next step is to actually uh, hook it up to the battery. All right, everything is installed on it. We have a temporary power hookup just because our engine bay is not done, our battery and stuff is not connected. We're gonna test this and see just how awesome it looks. Let's do it. So we got the rest of our interior pieces back from SOS. Huge shout out again to those guys. They did a phenomenal job. Look at the stitch work. They really contoured the leather around the curves of these interior pieces. Very well done. Now it's time to start putting this into our R32. We're gonna start with the backing for our radio bezel. This is a problem, Bake. What's the problem? I don't remember how this thing goes. Jeez. So as you know, this is the front cover, the bezel that goes around the stereo and the AC unit and the shifter area. And right here, that's where the cigarette lighter goes. So usually, for the most part, or always, we end up replacing it with a digital voltmeter and it also has a type C and a regular USB charger for your cell phone or laptop, or whatever you need it to. Is that an e-brake or is that the shifter? This is the e-brake. E-brake. 
Hold on. Long one. Okay. Take two. I know we already showed you guys this, but ooh, nice. look at this. Bam. Ooh. Oh yes, baby. Oh, that's like pretty simple. Dude, Almost ready. like it was supposed to go in there. Ready? Yeah. Freaking on that's it. That's good. Damn. Here we have the shift knob, and we ended up going with the black dowel ring uh, style. The only thing that we need to decide now is whether we want to go with the long style or the short style. So I'm gonna put the collar on first, and then we'll decide. We want this facing the driver, right? Tighten this up. Let me know that's not gonna move. Let's try the long style first. You want the long one? I'm gonna put the long one, see what it looks like, and then you guys let me know. What do you think? No, you don't like the long one? You want more about the short one? It's already got enough throw that you don't need the. All right, let's go with the short one. So here's the short one. I like this one better. And it doesn't block the stereo. This one literally clears, on my view as the driver, it clears completely the stereo. With this one, it would be that much higher. We should have blocked it. So me and Will choose this one. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. interior finish it looks super sick including all the gritty parts the throttle shift knob the ricardo seats all the upholstery that sos and ap upholstery did our air suspension got back and well stuff. yeah it's back together now yeah yeah finally can't forget the logo baby no you guys well, see this yeah. pink floyd light show going on behind us uh, but don't forget guys we have those new newly available shift knobs on the site check out throttle.com shift knobs and you know what? i'm gonna go get a shift knob for my eight right now Later. so i guess that's it like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one Oh, in the front. Film in the back here. Oh, now it's back. I sorry. I yelled, going down and back. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Forgot how crappy this is. The car just air out. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's no. The lines are disconnected right now. You get it? Yeah, they are. Pretty sure the front just aired out. Huh? Pretty sure the front of the car just aired out. No, it's been aired out. Uh -huh. I get it. I aired out. <laughs> oh my god. Got a leaky valve somewhere. Will, you doing okay over there? You've been working on that one piece for the last hour you here. Vic. <laughs> Jeez. Driver's seat down, let's get the passenger seat on. The be in the Driver's seat is down, let's get the passenger seat done. No. Driver's seat is done. Now let's move on to the passenger seat. Hey, that's bad. Oh, you did a good job, that yeah. was pretty quick. Now I gotta put the little screws back in there because I didn't have to take them off at all. I'm just gonna cut that part out. Yeah. Sheesh. <laughs> hot time. Hot time. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the top ten we show. Oh, damn, bro, you're dirty minded. <laughs> Uh, so this is the brain controller. It's gonna constant 12 volts from the battery right here. This is a three wire data and power that goes to your actual lights and controls the multiple colors, the strobe rate. And that was a way better explanation than the Hey, easy. As you guys well, can see. because I didn't explain that. Oh, did I? It gives power to the light bars. Is that better? No, Will's is better. <laughs> <laughs> Reason Will's. You got cut out, Ricky. That's fine. Cut it out. I'm used to that one. I'm, that's one of the bloopers. <laughs> oh, okay, Will. <laughs> Ready? Turn it on, Ricky. Get it, Will. Get them clips, Will. Why sideways, Will? Huh? Vertical, bud. Wow, it's four, Will. Hey, Will. What? 
very, very subtle difference between this and like you know you what's said. not subtle? Your butt. Did you fart? <laughs> Bro, it stinks so bad. <laughs> Was it you or was it him? Oh, I think it was Queen. Oh my god. Dude, it's gotta be Mr. Right Mr. Mr. Peanut Butter and Jelly over it's here. It's so bad, bro. <laughs> Way to call me out. Jeez.